Oh, I can't give it up now. <laughs> good job, good job. Just like that. Is that how you do I have it? To throw up. <laughs> <laughs> Hey guys, welcome back. Ron Williams. I'm sitting here with the awesome Alex Fine. And I'm going to interview him. I've never really talked to him about uh, his life, but I'm going to talk to him today about his life and why he does what he does. Alex, go ahead and greet the people. I'm Alex Fine. My company is called Almost Home. And you're here today in the Hollywood Hills area. This is my house. And I train everyone out of my garage and it goes from NFL athletes to entrepreneurs to actors and they pretty much all just come to here in a small garage. Name some of the actors you've trained. Um, I've worked with Jennifer Aniston and Peter Berg, Mark Wahlberg, and then a cast of TV shows as well recently. KJ Apa? KJ Apa. Yeah, he's, he's, a, he's a specimen. <laughs> yeah, he's, everyone uh, wants to get in on his workout. He's, he's pretty intense. Why do you do what you do? I mean, out of all of the things that you could do, I mean, you could even be a model, but instead you'd rather train. Why do you do the personal training? So, um, <laughs> that's my dog Waffles. <laughs> he's a 120 pound Rottweiler. But, I got into it seven years ago. I learned from um, C.T. Fletcher, this guy in Long Beach when I was rehabbing a shoulder injury and I just started watching him and I just ended up learning from him. Then I went back to school, came back out to LA and then just started working and interning. And I didn't know 100% what I wanted to do yet, whether it's training, open up a gym, or just be um, in a fitness space in general, rather, whether it was uh, yoga or whatever it might be. And I really got to start to like meet people and build relationships one-on-one. -on -one. And personal training was kind of a thing where all these people that I'm working with are surrounded by people the whole day, whether it's assistants and chefs, and they never have a one-on-one -on -one interaction. And we ended up getting those in here and it became like a special bond and that's what really kept me here. And personal training was uh, the relationships and like having conversations that wouldn't get anywhere else. Is there anything that you could say about um, the, your philosophy when it comes to training or techniques that you use that are really effective? So yeah, so the first person I learned from was CT and his, I pretty much, got my philosophy from him just because I liked it. And it was just more of a mental aspect of, you're gonna get the work that I put down done no matter what. It could take you 30 minutes, it could take you three hours. You're gonna get it done. And I, he, he's gonna teach you how to do the primary technique, like sit back in your heels, whatever. He's like, but after that, if you have like a little hitch in your step, he doesn't care, you're just gonna get the work done. If they think they can only do 20, and the number on the board says 150 reps, and then we make it a competition, and then it just becomes like a leaderboard thing. It's just more so like, I'm here to push your mental, and then the physical comes later, so then the numbers become normal. There's a set program, but when someone comes in and I wanna do something, there's no rhyme or reason, it's just, we're just gonna work hard. I just met CJ today. We're gonna have some fun with him uh, using the Iron Chess Master. Um, CJ, I'm, I'm, I'm gonna make a deal with you, is okay. what I'm actually gonna do. And I know you're competitive. I mean, I can look at you, I can <clears throat> see the frame you got. Now, <laughs> do, you. do you guys compete against each other much? Not much. All the time. <laughs> All the time, yeah. not much. Well, he doesn't we, compete with you. Competition, yeah. It's not much of a competition. Yeah. Of a competition. Okay. Of a competition. Obviously, I have a much better yeah. physique than Alex. <laughs> you can probably just tell just from, me, just from looking at me. So, so what, do you, what, do you, you, what do you do for Alex? Uh, so I'm the social media uh, director and editor for uh, Alex's new wellness app uh, coming out in about two short two months. months. Two short months. Uh, it's going to be great. We kind of are What's the name of it? It's called Almost Home. 
almost home. as you can see the plates we have here and uh, <clears throat> and the hat almost home <laughs> so uh, it's in kind of encompassing all things wellness from physical spiritual mental and uh, and also just uh, you know healthy recipes uh, kind of just trying to bring all the great resources Alex has had in his life and the great people that he's met and bring all those uh, <clears throat> all those resources under one umbrella and provide them to uh, to people who can benefit from him for a very uh, low cost. Now, would you say he would be more like a mentor? Absolutely, a mentor. Absolutely. So, and and you're competitive against him sometimes. Right, right. Well, I'm competitive in my period. way. Period. Period. So and, uh, yeah. So from what I hear, you're competitive against him, but he doesn't compete with you because there's no competition. Well, you know, <laughs> there's I'm a just high one, that's one way to phrase it. And, <laughs> there's uh, a hierarchy. He comes in for five, six a.m. lifts, and it's me, a Navy SEAL, and CJ. Okay. And, and CJ Alex hasn't been able to do one leg day yet. <laughs> <laughs> We're working on them. You know, I have pretty long legs, so it's, uh, it's just a, it's a kind of like a center of gravity thing that I'm trying to focus on, figure it out. Um, but, but I do come in. I play with waffles. <laughs> I provide some comedic relief, and uh, and then I kind of just leave early, show up late. But we're gonna see today if our 5 a.m. workouts have translated, so you can get a free Iron Chest mess. Okay. So the deal is, if you can do 20 reps with the black bands and the back straps or chest straps, mm -hmm. we'll give you one. Okay. Are so you up for that? Absolutely. Can you do it? I can. I believe I can. I want to see if you can just do 10. Oh, man. I can't even get this thing around me. <laughs> <laughs> okay. uh, and just so you know, that's the easy way. Okay. I can't even there's, get it. there's no way you get... I can get <laughs> uh, I Also, side note, I did work out this morning. <laughs> um, there's no way. I don't even think I can get five... Oh, oh, look at that. He's pretty strong. Two. Oh, I got it. Three. <laughs> four. I'll tell you what, Alex is five, the only. Six. Good. Seven. Eight. Oh, nine, touch the middle. There you go. Ten. <laughs> Eleven. You said 12. 40 and it's mine, right? <laughs> Thirteen. Yep. 14, 15, oh, I can't give it up now. Good job, good job. And just like that. Is that how you do I have it? to throw up. Now, I tell you what, if you repeat that and just do five more, I've got one in the car, I'll give it to you. With these. With these. Right now, with these. With this. What's the different color here? This different color. Five more. If you do 20, 20 with that one, and they touch in the middle, arms are completely straight. I've got one I in the car. the car. I get the car. <laughs> <laughs> I didn't say that <laughs> Oh, there's no way. Uh-oh. So if I see 20 I here, I'll be surprised. 20. 20. 20. 20. Okay, now first before you start, and that, uh, like you Alex said. five and I get the iron chest. Now you no, five no, I said, more I said five more than what you did. So 20. Oh, I thought we should do an Oh, total of 20. No. <laughs> <laughs> if you carry the two. Okay, okay now, now wait a minute. Before you get started, he said it earlier, a lot of this is in your mind. So can you do this? Yes, Ron. Okay, he said <laughs> he could do it. That's it. 20. You're just pushing the ground down. Yep. That's all it is. This is the man at work right here. 20. Over or under is at six. Touch One. your chest though. Two. Touch the middle. Yeah. Four. Come on, man. Five. People are talking. Ron said you can't do it. Six. <laughs> Seven. Ron doesn't even have an extra one in the car. He just knows you can't do it. <laughs> oh, it's happening. No, come on. No. Come on. You got another one. Come on. Oh. Uh, I failed waffles. Don't look at me. Go get him. <laughs> lick him on the face. <laughs> he said, I'm sorry. But you know oh, what, man? That's a, that's a good machine there. Good piece of equipment. I have to hand it to you. 
you're not you're not a, a loser and you're not a quitter. Thank you. Tell that to Alex. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> that was fun. So guys, this is a little bit from Alex Fine. You're gonna hear from him again. Uh, but really interesting. Like this guy a lot. Just met him. Uh, got a chance to talk to him, you know, uh, him and CJ on the phone, and just appreciate what he's doing here uh, in California, training and changing lives. God bless you till next time. Wait, 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 Alex. One, wait. Two. <laughs> Three. Alright, that's four. <laughs> you gotta beat four or less. I'll get I'll give you two to start off with since this is your first time ever doing it. This is a practice. You get two practice. Alright. What was that? On the other side of the door. Ha 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 ha!